Hey there, this is Amy with SelfishMom.com and today I'm going to show you how you can get the most out of Windows 8 if you don't have a touchscreen computer. I'm using Windows 8 right now on my Sony Vio Z, which does not have a touchscreen. So the first thing you want to do is go to your control panel and search for mouse, change mouse settings, and we're going to go to the Synaptics pointing device settings. If you don't have Synaptics, you can go to their website and download it. It's free. Go to settings and make sure that you have everything checked that I have checked here. Now the first thing that you'll notice is if this is the first time that you're enabling two-fingered scrolling, you'll now need to put two fingers onto the mouse pad to scroll up and down. It takes a little getting used to, but it's worth it for the other things that you can do. So take your mouse, put it in the bottom left corner, you'll see the start screen. Click on that, do it again, and you can go back to whatever was open last. No matter how many things you have open, it's always going to go back to the thing that opened last. Let's see, let me open up a few more things so that I can show you what we can do. And photos. Okay, now if I go to my photos, you'll see that you can also put two fingers onto the mouse pad and scroll sideways. Just like if you were touching a touch screen. Very handy, you can go very fast. All right, and let's see, let's open up a picture. And just like on your phone or on your tablet, you can use two finger zoom. Play your fingers apart, you can zoom in, push them together, everything gets smaller. All right, now, if you go back to the bottom of the screen on the left and slide up, you'll see everything that's open. And you can just click on something and open it. Or if you want to switch between all of the things that you have open, start outside of your touchpad on the left hand side and drag it in towards the center. And you'll just keep alternating between all of the different things that you have open. Now, if you do the same thing from the right hand side, you get the charm screen. And the charm screen is specific to whatever you have open. So if I want to search in the store, I can search in the store. If I go back to the start screen and I get the charms, I would be searching in my apps. See how that works? Now let's see, let's go back to go back to photos. If you drag from outside top towards the middle, you get the menu. And it doesn't matter if that menu is on the top or the bottom. Oh, does Netflix not have a menu? Netflix doesn't have a menu. Let's see what has a menu on the bottom. I think SkyDrive does. So if I drag down from the top, yeah, see, it doesn't matter where the menu is. You just drag down from the top and you'll get that menu. And the next thing I want to show you, let's say that you're watching something in Netflix, which I obviously haven't set up yet on this computer. But let's say that you're watching something in Netflix. You don't want to close out that app. You want that to keep running while you do something else. So we'll go back to the running programs. Let's say I want to open my desktop. I can either right click it, snap it in there. Now Netflix will still go. Oh, but I want, I want my desktop to be bigger. There we go. And now Netflix will stay open. And if I want to get rid of it, just slide that to the right. The other thing that you can do, let's go back to that open apps list. Take SkyDrive and just drag it over. Now you can see that there's that purple bar on the left. I could drop it there. Let's get rid of it. Oops. Try it again. Say that I want to open the store. and the desktop, and we want to put the desktop on the right, just bring it all the way over, drop it in, and then you can switch which one is bigger. All right, let's get rid of that. Last thing I want to show you is how to close apps. 
because you'll notice that there's no X in the corner except on the desktop. On the apps, see what we've got open. Yeah, see there's no X there to close it. So you can do one of two things. If you're already in the app and you want to close it, take your pointer all the way to the top and it'll turn into that little hand. Left click and keep on left clicking while you drag it all the way down to the bottom and it's closed. If you're not in the app and you want to close it, you can just right click it. Done. And that's what I've learned so far with gestures in Windows 8. If you know any more, I'd love it if you'd leave it in the comments. And that's it. <laughs>